Welcome to the Class for Kids monthly roundup for August. So here we are rounding up the month of August and the month of July here at Class for Kids. The Class for Kids office was actually closed for a good portion of July, but you will be hearing more about that later on in the episode. So what have we been up to? Well, first of all, we went to visit Laurie Bradley, who covers West Bridgeford and Nottingham South for the Dramatots franchise. Um, I didn't know um, a tool like that existed until I started my business and it's been absolutely fabulous. I use it every day. Um, it helps me keep my business running smoothly. It helps me gain new business. It helps me keep on top of um, financial information and my families. Um, I love as well how I can just contact all my families um, all in one go. I can send you know big emails out. Um, it's just an invaluable tool for me at Drama Tots um, and I would be lost without it. <laughs> so we've got some back to back to back topics of conversation coming up right now from Stephen and Rebecca. They discuss the Future Coaches events that we took on tour. They cover the Access Kicker, which Stephen and Rebecca hosted and we talk about the Class for Kids Kicker, which happened in the Class for Kids office. We were invited down to host the FY25 Kicker as part of the wider access group, covering our division, not for profit in education. These kickers give us a really good chance together to integrate with the wider access group and to meet all of our kind of peers and everybody else um, that might be within our division that we've never met or don't really know. Yeah, and it just helps us align with what we're doing at Class for Kids, making sure that we're folding into the wider access way and thinking about, you know, ultimately what is it access we're trying to deliver within that financial year and this year it's all about delivering excellence for our customers and making sure that as access always promote the customer goes first. And it was great to hear from Simon Baines, the managing director of our division, around all of the plans and things that we're going to be implementing right through in FY25 for our division. And also Laura Tressler, who hosted a panel discussion around the use of AI within education, which was a really interesting uh, topic to bring up, given how AI is progressing and also how it can make things better across the education uh, industry. It was really interesting. So it was great to hear uh, from both of them, as well as the panelists. And also a thanks to Gemma Price for inviting us again. Indeed, and she is the mastermind and is very pivotal in helping organise that. So very well done to Gemma on how smooth the day was and making us feel at ease. And on the back of that kicker, we internally here just at Class for Kids, we have our own kickers as well, of which you had quite a large part of. I did, so this year was kind of all around again, following the wider access route of putting our customers first. It was all around the customer, how we improve our customer experience. Uh, and my part, closely aligned with Hayley, who's our go-to-market manager at Class for Kids, uh, around our brands and what value uh, we bring to our customers beyond just our booking software. And it was, I think, you know, a really great session to chat about, you know, what's our brand identity at Class for Kids, talking about the safety of our platform, the fact that we're reliable, the fact that we're most trusted, given we have been around uh, for a long time and our brand is very established and reputable and it was great just to share that with the wider business but beyond that it's actually thinking about okay well this is our brand identity but what does this mean across the different teams within the business because it might mean one thing to me but for somebody in sales or a customer support team or products and engineering team it can mean very different things and you know as somebody that lives for our brand it's always around what does our customer ultimately think of it it's never about what I think of the brand what you think of it it's what our customer shapes and a lot of this came on the back of the brand perception uh, feedback that we did from earlier this year so it was a really great session and great to get everybody in the business involved. We have also been out and about uh, across the UK at different events. Stephen we were back with Future Coaches for a second year running. Future Coaches are obviously our own events for those who don't know. Can you tell us a little bit about what was slightly different compared to last year? The main purpose of these events and the theme running through it was really mental health and empowering children through sport, through football on this occasion to have that at the forefront and for these coaches to have that at the forefront of all the tuition and all the teaching that they do. The keynote speakers we picked were absolutely on point. Every single one of them delivered. We worked with our success team to pick these speakers from our clubs and uh, we couldn't have asked for better ones. Class for Kids, uh, who have put on this event, Future Coaches, um, asked me to come and be a speaker at this fantastic event today, um, which has put a lot of coaching companies and grassroots and professional coaches together uh, to brainstorm ways that we can make our sector better. I got involved with the Future Coaches campaign uh, when I met the guys in Dublin. Uh, they told me about the event coming up and how I thought that our, our brands and ethos align and I uh, got stuck in. Uh, campaigns like Future Coaches is so important because sometimes I think it can feel a bit lonely um, being a coach and, and doing things like this. It brings people together. Um, you feel like you're not alone and, and not only that, bring so many tips and, and 
We're all a community, all working together, and everyone's helped each other. It's a lovely, lovely environment. Kind of tying into future coaches because that's when we first announced the partnership before going um, to our press team and also across social media was the announcement of our partnership as a charity partner of the Youth Sports Trust. I'm here with Lisa from the Youth Sports Trust, and the exciting news is for the next year, Class for Kids are going to be partnering with the Youth Sports Trust, working together to raise funds for the incredible work that they are doing across the UK. I'm Lisa McKendry, I'm one of the directors at the Youth Sports Trust, um, Director of Insight and Innovation, but I also have a corporate coaching role. I've been with the Youth Sport Trust 26 years and I'm absolutely passionate about the work of the charity. The Youth Sport Trust is a UK-wide charity that uses the power of physical education, physical activity and sport to ensure that all young people have the opportunity to grow and develop through the power of sport. We're a children's charity, as I said, that has been in existence for almost 30 years. It's our 30th anniversary next year, so what better way to move into our 30th year than through the announcement of this wonderful partnership with Class for Kids. So as alluded to earlier in the episode, the Class for Kids HQ office actually closed for a portion of July and August to undergo a refurbishment. The reason for this being is that the Class for Kids office has now transformed into the Access Glasgow Go Centre. The Access Glasgow Go Centre offers an office space for Access colleagues across the country to come in and work from here. Are we ready? Yeah, are we getting a picture? Sorry, are we getting a picture? Yeah! All that and more from a very busy July and August. We hope to see you again at the end of September to show you what we've been up to over the next month.